Hey guys, personally, I believe survival horror games are the pinnacle of the genre. For those who might not be familiar, survival horror is a game genre characterized by a focus on the protagonist's survival and the creation of an atmosphere of fear and tension, much like horror movies. In this video, I've compiled a list of the 17 best story-driven survival horror games on PC from the last decade that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Song of Horror. Every fan of the horror genre should play this game. It closely captures the atmosphere of Silent Hill, filled with brutality, jump scares, and chaos. You'll be hunted by a creature controlled by a self-learning AI that adapts to your actions and decisions, ensuring no two playthroughs are the same. The game features multiple characters. When one dies, they're gone for good, and the next character takes their place, starting from where the last one left off but with a different perspective. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. In my opinion, excluding the Resident Evil 2 remake, this is the best installment in the series over the past 10 years. Resident Evil Village also deserves a mention, but I find it less scary than the seventh installment. Biohazard operates on a different level than its predecessors. Here, the developers have set the game in a large mansion in rural backwoods filled with various monsters, and its inhabitants are not happy to see uninvited guests. Each member of this crazy family is memorable, and the first-person perspective makes the boss fights extremely terrifying and atmospheric. The Beast Inside A good photorealistic adventure horror game with a first-person view and an interesting plot. The game has two main characters and, accordingly, two storylines. The first protagonist is Adam, a crypt analyst who arrives at a country house with his pregnant wife. The second is Nicholas, who lived in this house in the 18th century. Overall, the story is good, especially Nicholas's. There are unexpected moments. The gameplay is also unconventional. The developers have created a mix of several mechanics. There's shooting, stealth, puzzles, exploration, and even QTE sequences. There are many mechanics, and they are all well executed. Visage, a psychological horror game that tells the story of a haunted house with a focus on the plot. According to the premise, we find ourselves in a luxurious yet grim mansion where horrific events have occurred. Moving from room to room, we delve into the memories of previous residents and piece them together. However, the ghosts of the people who lived here are not welcoming, and the house itself, a complex maze, constantly changes. Call of Cthulhu, a survival horror game with RPG elements. Here, we play as a private investigator who slowly goes insane. The plot is based on the cult universe of the old gods by Lovecraft. We travel to a mysterious island to solve a mysterious murder surrounded by rumors and conspiracies. Throughout the game, the protagonist balances on a fine line between reality and psychosis, unable to trust his own senses or the people around him. It has everything needed for a good horror game. Cosmic horror, the protagonist's madness, and tough choices to make. The Evil Within series. Usually, survival horror games scare with their silence and lack of constant action. But this series is different. These games are packed with events, presented in a way that makes your blood run cold. They're also quite hardcore, with even regular monsters capable of ending the protagonist's life. Traditionally for the genre, ammunition is critically scarce, but simple stealth mechanics help, allowing you to sneak up on enemies and kill them with a knife. The games are incredibly atmospheric. The monsters are unique and truly frightening, especially given the constant shortage of ammunition, medkits, and other supplies. Outlast series. This duology is a first-person survival horror, where the main task is literally to survive. In both parts of the game, we play as two different journalists who must hide from enemies and escape from them. Another feature of the series is the video camera, which becomes an indispensable assistant in dark locations, acting as a night vision device. Additionally, the camera's functionality was expanded in the second part of Outlast.
The Coma 2, a 2D horror game from Korean developers with a terrifying story about demons in a school. Here, we'll explore the corridors and classrooms of the school, as well as its surroundings. Compared to the first part, the action takes place not only on school grounds. We'll visit a police station, a local market, and many other places. In general, the entire district of the city is under the control of evil supernatural forces. Despite the modest visuals, the game is truly scary. Dead Space 2. This game perfects all the ideas introduced in the first installment. It became much more varied and got rid of some annoying aspects. The arsenal of weapons and variety of necromorphs expanded. New types of necromorphs fit well into the game's ideology and keep you on your toes. The game also significantly improved the monotonous design of the locations from the first game, offering residential areas, mines, the administrative center of a metropolis, and even space travel. Dying Light, an excellent representative of the genre in a zombie apocalypse setting, incorporating the best ideas from Dead Island and adding its own mechanics like parkour. Despite the overused setting, the game is very bright and original. Survival here is not just a secondary genre tag, but a primary necessity. The game includes elements like resource gathering, crafting, and character development. There are also headquarters and safe zones where you must hide from a special type of predatory monsters at night. Alien Isolation, a great first-person survival horror game with stealth elements inspired by the famous film Alien. Most of the time, you'll be exploring locations, finding necessary items for progressing the plot. The alien constantly complicates your life. The unique aspect is that the xenomorph operates under its own rules and has artificial intelligence, so you can't hide from it for long. The game is highly atmospheric, largely due to the protagonist's vulnerability. Among the Sleep, a short but meaningful first-person story where you play as a two-year-old child searching for his mother. The toddler wakes up in the middle of the night in complete darkness and finds his mother missing. He finds his teddy bear and begins a journey through the house and various paranormal worlds to find her. The game instills fear through its unique atmosphere as the two-year-old is vulnerable and scared, unable to fight off the lurking monsters. The levels are interestingly designed, with atmosphere being the main focus, every noise and shadow makes your heart race, and the music and sounds feel like they came from children's nightmares. Dreadout series. The game tells a terrifying story about a group of students trapped in a sinister town full of ghosts. The main feature of the game is its oppressive atmosphere. Bats flying by, disturbing sounds in the distance, there's no safe place here. You have a mobile phone with a camera to detect the undead. The gameplay involves walking around, taking photos of interesting things, and finding plot items and keys. However, the mobile phone helps fend off ghosts and other evil spirits that somehow fear being photographed. Knock knock. Here, you need to help the protagonist, who is in a creepy house, survive until dawn. The gameplay revolves around wandering the house, turning on lights in rooms, and interacting with objects. In some places, you can wait out the danger. An interesting feature is the presence of character stats like memory and vision, which affect the gameplay. Time in the game can not only speed up, but, depending on the player's actions, slow down or even reverse. The Forest. The gameplay of this series doesn't differ much from other survival simulators. You need to ensure your safety by building shelters, warming up by the fire at night, and gathering food and useful items. The main feature of these games is that the island is inhabited by cannibals and various mutants, which are especially dangerous at night. All valuable items are found in creepy, dark caves where you can see things that will haunt your nightmares. The second game added companions and more types of firearms, but it didn't make the game any less scary. Thanks for joining me on this journey through some of the best survival horror games out there. I hope you found some new titles to add to your must-play list. Have a nice day.